Well, plastic surgery and the art of looking beautiful has come a long way in, in many years. No longer do you have to go under the knife. Well, with us today is plastic surgeon Dr. Sean Rice, who's going to share with us some of those advancements. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Great to, great to have you. I mean, that's, this is one of those topics that I'm really fascinated with because I, like, unlike Val, I'm not going to age gracefully. I'm going to fight at all the sure. <laughs> tooth Neither and nail. Should <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of the new advancements that's happening? Because you don't no longer have to go, or you, you don't no longer have to uh, go into the knife. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of advancements in all forms of uh, right. cosmetic surgery. Uh, lasers are a great advancement. You know, you used to have sort of a, what we call a continual wavelength laser. It resurfaced the skin, took a long time to heal. Now they've been able to fractionate the laser, put it in little tiny dots so you can heal much quicker, still get great results. And then you can do things like hair removal now, brown spots, red veins, lots of things you can do now. I know when I was uh, younger, in my early, the early 30s, um, I had like a bunch of uh, uh, veiny things or whatever, and I, took, I did a chemical peel, and it was a week downtime, sure. and I looked like a snake. You don't, it doesn't necessarily be like that anymore. Correct? No, you don't have to do that. Chemical peels in the older lasers, what they did was, think of a, of a one inch square, okay. and what it would do is it would sort of obliterate the whole surface of that skin, and it took a long time for that to heal itself back in. Mm -hmm. So now with the new technology, if you take that same one inch square, you're able to take that laser through a series of little mirrors, and you're able to poke a million little holes in there, so you're leaving normal skin behind, so now it can heal much quicker. Okay, now we have some pictures on screen right now. Tell us what, what happened there. So this is a great example of some of the things that we can do, you know, the she before and the after picture. Fantastic. Sure. So this is a combination of a few things. This is a combination of laser skin resurfacing. So we're using the Cyton laser to sort of take off the sort of top layer of the skin. Okay. We're also using what we call the BBL or some people call the IPL component of it to get rid of the brown spots. And then a bit of an infrared component of it to help tighten up the skin. So no longer do you need to undergo the sort of traditional facelift uh, neck lift. You can use the infrared part of the laser to help tighten up the skin as well. We're a fully accredited operating room. We have our own private operating mm -hmm. facilities and recovery room and things like that. Uh, our office is the Canadian Training Center for a lot of different things. We're the Canadian Training Center for uh, the new cellulase, which is a cellulite reduction, uh, smart lipo, slim lipo, which are uh, laser-assisted uh, liposuction, uh, the body jet, which is a water-assisted liposuction. We use that for a lot of things like fat grafting is becoming very popular these days. So if you're going to get liposuction done somewhere, instead of taking that fat, throwing in the garbage, why not use it somewhere else? We do a lot of Brazilian butt lifts, breast augmentation with fat, facial fillers with fat, things like that. We're a fully accredited operating room. We have our own private operating mm -hmm. facilities and recovery room and things like that. Uh, our office is the Canadian Training Center for a lot of different things. We're the Canadian Training Center for uh, the new cellulase, which is a cellulite reduction, uh, smart lipo, slim lipo, which are uh, laser-assisted uh, liposuction, uh, the body jet, which is a water-assisted liposuction. We use that for a lot of things like fat grafting. It's becoming very popular popular these days. So if you're going to get liposuction done somewhere, instead of taking that fat, throwing in the garbage, why not use it somewhere else? We do a lot of Brazilian butt lifts, breast augmentation with fat, facial fillers with fat, things like that.